All right, let's get started today. As the uh, book, this very large accompaniment edition of this hymnal <laughs> gets toward the end, I keep getting worried it's going to capsize my stand because I tend to scoot it over so that the thing I'm reading, which is way over here, is a little more centered. Okay, <clears throat> on my heart, imprint your image. I don't think I know this one. I forgot to carry that G-sharp across the bar. <clears throat> it's warmer today, but my hands are cold. <clears throat> so the first bar in that last system <laughs> has a tricky little thing. Uh, because if you look at those chords, uh, the first two beats, nothing changes physically when you play it. Now, if you're singing the tenor part, you have this big jump. And if you're singing the alto part, you have this big jump. <coughs> But playing-wise, you end up on the same notes, uh, more or less. So, uh, yeah, it's just a, hmm. uh, it's a little, it's a little different. But I mean, the chord, your your hand shape doesn't change. So, <coughs> I'm going to have to put some cats away here in a second. All right, let's uh, read through it again. I don't think it's much faster than that. So, I need to look at the, there are a couple of spots that I keep having trouble with. Okay, that was the second bar, and then that last system. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, it's getting to the, okay. <coughs> more time this, sh this should be okay That's the part, right? 
Jeez, that was a mess. Okay, <clears throat> before I peace out on this one, I'm going to read that third system. Okay, yeah, that's just catching me off. <clears throat> 